Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today we're continuing our series on testing prospective materials for improvised body armor. For this test, I took two layers of wet backing board and three layers of 20 gauge sheet metal, both of which I have already tested separately, and glued them together so that I have sheet metal between the two layers of wet backing board as well as on both sides. I just used wood glue, which is probably not the best adhesive for this application, but it was what I had on hand. Finally, I wrapped the whole thing in duct tape to help hold it together, just in case the glue doesn't. So this panel consists of three layers of 20 gauge sheet metal and two layers of wet backing board. Now from previous tests, we know that by itself, it took a minimum of four layers of this sheet metal to stop a nine millimeter round, uh, and several layers of the wet backing board did nothing to stop a nine millimeter round. So if this panel is capable of stopping a nine millimeter bullet, then that will tell us that these materials are definitely more effective when used together than when used separately. Let's shoot it with a nine millimeter and see what happens. Well, sure enough, you can actually see the 9mm bullet just underneath the duct tape, uh, and certainly nothing came out the back. So, uh, I do see a little bit of delamination between the layers. Not sure how many rounds of 9mm this would be able to take before the panel started to fall apart, uh, but let's go ahead and shoot it with 44 Magnum and see what that does. Well, once again, our panel caught that bullet effectively. Now, the 44 put a pretty good dent in the back, uh, unlike the 9mm, and we're definitely seeing more delamination now. But let's go ahead and shoot this with 223 and see what that does to it. Okay, with 223, we've got a little entrance hole and a gaping exit hole. So, this panel is definitely not up to stopping rifle rounds. So now that this panel has been shot up a little bit and it's starting to delaminate, let's actually turn it over and go back to 9mm and see how many hits it'll take before the bullets start going through. Well, my second shot of that group uh, did go through, but those two bullets were almost on top of each other. So let me shoot it a few more times, try to spread out the bullets a little more, see if the delamination is the issue or if it's just that the bullets were practically in the same hole. Okay, so we hit this thing seven times before the back layer really started to come off, uh, and then the eighth round uh, was able to penetrate it because of that. Uh, incidentally, when it did start to come apart, here's a couple nine millimeter bullets that I found trapped inside the uh, panel. So our previous tests identified that wet backing board by itself was not an effective material for any kind of improvised body armor applications. But the combination of wet backing board and sheet metal in alternating layers does seem to hold a lot of promise for improvised body armor. Uh, certainly it has its limitations, but our experimental panel was able to stop a variety of handgun rounds. So this was yet another interesting test. Anyway. 
Thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.